Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on understanding reports using WagePoint. Once you have logged into WagePoint, proceed to the Reports tab. From Reports, you will see that the Payroll Register is the very first report that populates. This is the register for all employees that have been paid through a specific pay cycle. Simply select the down arrow key if you want to view other pay cycle periods. You'll notice here that there's also a posting journal. You can review this report if you prefer not to have a direct integration with Xero or QuickBooks Online and use this as supporting documentation to create a journal entry. The Receiver General Report indicates the amount of remittances that are being withheld from each employee as well as the employer portion that will be remitted to Canada Revenue Agency. You can also see the number of employees, the gross payroll, confirmation of the CRA payroll number as well. It's important to note that the majority of these reports can be printed, exported to CSV, and also exported to PDF. WagePoint enables each employee to have their own portal to view their pay stubs. In the event that an employee is unable to look at their WagePoint portal, you can simply go to Pay Stubs to view their pay stub and print it accordingly. Again, within printing or PDF. And also you have the ability to switch to a French version as well. Note that there's another tab here called More with a cascading menu. The deposit summary indicates the number of employees and their net pay that have been deposited directly to their bank account. Note here that we have two employees that do not have direct deposits set up. An interesting feature with WagePoint is that you can print the paychecks directly from the portal for these types of individuals. Simply select Print Check. From here, a pop-up window will appear and you can print the check respectively. Going back to the More tab, you'll notice that there is a remittance report. Very similar to the Re Receiver General report, you can look at th this report based on an entire year. For instance, you would just select Run Report. From here, you'll see all remittances that have been paid to Canada Revenue Agency. You can balance this amount through your Represent a Client account or the My Business account with Canada Revenue Agency. Next, you may be interested in the Payroll Invoice Report. The Payroll Invoice Report balances the amount that was withdrawn from the bank account. It lists the amount of net pay, source deduction, and applicable fees. Going back to the More tab, you may also want to look at Record of Employment Files, also known as ROE Files. Currently, our demo company does not have any ROE files on file. The next section is to go to the Reports Library. The Reports Library contains a vast array of other types of reports that may be required in your business activities. One of our favorite reports is the Quarterly WSIB Report. You could run it by quarter. If you want to preview the reports, you can simply do such here. Going back to the More tab, let's look at Payroll History. Payroll History gives you a snapshot of the amount of transactions that were run during a specific point in time. For this example, we will use the month of August. You can see here, during the month of August, the employees that were paid, the pay cycle, the check date, the hours worked, the gross payroll, taxes withheld, deductions, and their net pay. Again, very similar to the majority of reports within WagePoint, you can select to print the report, export it to CSV, or export to PDF. This concludes our video of understanding reports using WagePoint.